Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. This is part 41 of the series. In the last episode, we learnt about how to set up com component routes. Very important and very basic uh, setup of routing. Today we are going to extend that learning and learn how to do parameterized routes. Oftentimes, you might want to pass some IDs or some unique information through the routes. That's where parameterized routes comes into picture. We'll learn all about it. Let's get started. Before I kickstart this uh, hands-on tutorial, please do like, share, comment on the videos to keep encouraging and to keep supporting me. If you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Following is the playlist we have created so far in Angular 17, including every single detail and every single topic that Angular 17 has to offer. Today we are learning about parameterized routes. I want to insist again that till Angular 16, we used to have something called app routing module.ts file by default. In Angular 17 onwards, you will not see that. Instead, we will have app.routes.ts file. That being said, we can still use router module, create routing module files for our modules, which can either be a normal module or a lazy loading module. Today we are covering parameterized routes. I already covered routes for components in the last episode. Today I'll cover parameterized routes. Let's get started. All right, so we are building a crew management system in Angular 17. In the last episode, we generated a component called crew profile which is nothing but showing the profiles of the crew members that are on a particular flight that now we need to access an individual user information that means we need to pass an id of the profile so how do we do that so go to approutes.ts and this is what we had done in the last episode now i'm going to add a parameterized route so here I'll create one more and we can say um, I'll create a new component say ng generate C component and say crew profile crew user profile okay now this has generated the component and I'll say whenever user comes with an ID it should map to crew profile user profile component okay that means I'm going to pass an ID to the URL and that is what will be captured. Okay, so you write the route name slash co colon. That means this is a dynamic value and it will be mapped to this particular component. Okay, that's what this is how you define the parameters in the URL. Let's go ahead, fire this and check ng serve. All right. So now let's go back to our browser slash crew profile. When I do crew profile, it will come to the crew profile component, which is this one. Now I'm going to pass an ID to it. So I'm going to say slash 10. And now it says crew user profile works. That means this is a dynamic value. You can pass any value and it will come to that particular component. Now let's go ahead and modify the code to capture it. Okay. Well, let's capture that particular ID and see how we can display it in our component. All right. So for that, we'll go to that particular component, which is crew user profile. And here in the component class, let's assign an ID first. And I'm saying it will be of type string because it can be anything or it will be null. So we are initializing basically that it's either a string or a null value that's what it means now we'll need to work we'll need a constructor because we'll need to inject a service which is route and we'll say activated route okay now we got that and then we can close this constructor here now using this instance of the route we will define ng on in it okay and so we are defining a ng on in it okay 
and whenever you write any of this methods you will have to define it here on in it okay now once you do that and remember this is only for the built-in life cycle methods not for everything all right now that we have this I'm going to use the this dot route and dot and we'll do a param map dot subscribe and here we will be able to capture the params that are coming for us from the URL so here we can just say this dot ID equal to params dot get the ID now why did I write ID here because in our routes we have said we are capturing ID okay so take a look at this code again all we are doing is first we have initialized a variable which is by the name ID it can be any name you don't need to give the same name as what you have mentioned but it's a good practice then in the constructor we are importing activated route this is one of the built-in uh, things from the angular router that we need okay so if you take a look at this class it will give you information and details about the current active route using that we are using param map which is used to get the params from the URL and I'm subscribing and getting the ID now let's display this here we'll say displaying details details of user with ID okay so let's see now it says displaying user with 13 so let's say you want user with 10 now you get the value 10 now if you want to say so see you can either pass a username or an ID because we said it's a string right so this is how you can capture any parameterized routes you can have any number of routes especially if you go to anything that needs to have a details let's say I go to crew profile I'll display a table with all the users I click on it it goes to a certain particular user right so that's how the flow works and that's why parameterized routes are extremely important how do you define it curly brace open curly brace closed path followed by the URL that you need slash colon the ID that you want to capture and the corresponding component in the corresponding component all you are do doing is using activated route class which is available in angular router here use that to map a param and subscribe it and you will get the param that you are passing right and once you capture that ID we are displaying that in the template using two-way data binding and we are displaying it through template binding okay that's all um, we are doing in as part of the parameterized routes I hope this is clear in the next episode I'm going to show you how to get query params from the route okay and then we do the child uh, routes okay so we'll keep building uh, as we go along but um, in the next episode let me show you the child routes and then the query params router link router outlet there are a lot of use cases around routing in angular i will try and cover every single detail for you to learn and master angular with me thank you so much for joining in this episode please continue to support me if you like my work and tutorials please do like share comment and if you like, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.